right, so arithmetic sequence versus geometric sequence. Just sequences for now, okay? So arithmetic versus geometric sequences, okay? So let me do, let's look at these two examples, this one versus this one. So let's look at 2, 5, 8, 11, blah, blah, blah. So this is an infinite sequence with a pattern. And then this one is, let's do 2, negative 4, 8, negative 16, 32, blah, blah, blah. Infinite sequence with some kind of pattern. And we'll look at the difference in the pattern. So if you notice on the left, this sequence to get from term one to term two what did i do i went two to five so i there i can multiply by a number or add a number or maybe do you know a combination of different operations if you notice from each term to the next term i'm adding three i keep adding the same number from one term to get to the next any type of situation like this where you're adding the same number to one term to get to the next we call this an arithmetic sequence now, that number that you're adding or subtracting, I'll show you an example where you're subtracting, but that number that you're adding to every term to get to the next one is called the common difference. Common difference, which we represent by D. So for this particular example, D would be equal to three. A1 represents the first term, in this case would be equal to two, right? The first term of the sequence. And this is just a little terminology for this particular type of situation. If it's arithmetic, we have a common difference, a number that keeps being added or subtracted to get to the next term. Um, let me do another example underneath that. Let's look at 2, uh, negative 2, um, negative 6, negative 10, blah, blah, blah. What do you notice is happening here? Um, I notice that there is a pattern, and that pattern in this case is I'm adding negative 4, or you could say I'm subtracting 4. Subtracting 4, which is the same as adding negative 4, right? Subtracting 4 is the same as adding negative 4. So my common difference for this case, my common difference D, is equal to negative 4. So remember that for an arithmetic sequence, in this case, this is also arithmetic because I'm also adding the same number from every term to get to the next one. Whatever I'm adding is the number that is my common difference. So even though in this case it looks like I'm subtracting 4, technically I'm adding negative 4 to get from one term to the next. So my D, my common difference, is equal to negative 4. So be careful with that, okay? The common difference is always the number that's being added from each term to get to the next. Um, all right, so let's look at this one. So what am I doing from one term to the next? This one, for this one, this one. Um, this looks like I am multiplying by negative 2. Multiplying by negative 2. That's what, I'm look that's what it's looking like. Multiplying by negative 2, right? That looks like the pattern. Every term is having um, negative 2 multiplied by it to get to the next one. This is a geometric sequence. Geometric. Geometric sequence is a sequence such that you are multiplying each term by a number to get to the next one. Multiplying. So we have what's called a common ratio represented by lowercase r. So in this case my lowercase r is negative 2. My common ratio for this example is negative 2. What number am I multiplying each term by to get to the next one? So look at this one. Let's say 3, 1, 1 third, 1 ninth. What do you notice is happening here? If you notice, if you can tell, um, I am technically dividing by 3, right? 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 divided by 3 is 1 third. 1 third divided by 3 is 1 ninth. But when you're talking about a geometric sequence, what number are you multiplying each term by to get to the next one? Dividing by 3 is the same as multiplying by 1 third, multiplying by 1 third, multiplying by 1 third. So my common ratio here is equal to 1 third. 
So when you're talking about an arithmetic sequence, um, it's whatever number you're adding to each term to get to the next one. When you're talking about a geometric sequence, it's whatever term you're multiplying each term by to get to the next one. So if you notice that you're dividing each term by a number, it's the same thing as multiplying by that term, by that reciprocal. So I'm dividing by three, but technically I'm multiplying by one third. So one third is my common ratio. So just be careful with that when you deal with these type of sequences.